welcome our guest today. So today we have Tyler Nolan joining us on the Unemployable podcast. What's up, That's guys? Right. I am employed, though. Yeah. That's right. Definitely. Thanks to Tattoo. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe. Self-employed? Um, yeah. Self-employed. How was your weekend, Cam? Uh, what, do you have one day off now? This week, none. <laughs> yeah, none? Well, I was here yesterday on my Getting one day off. Getting tattooed by Nate? Yeah. And then today's my day off. We're here. That's always the trade, because I also have one day off. It's like... Do you get do you get tattooed often anymore? No, I hate getting. Tattooed. I know, me too. I'm so tired of it. Yeah, because it's like when you do get, I only tattooed. get tattooed when friends die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As morbid as that is, because it's like it's for. a trade off. It's like okay, yeah, I want to get tattooed, but in order to do that, I have to go to work on my day off. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb. and it's painful. Yeah, and then you're healing the whole next week. Yeah, dumb. like you're tattooing the whole week after, and you're just like my leg hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it's still popular, honestly. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I thought it was just going to be like a fad. So did my parents. They were like, oh, yeah, it's never going to last. You're never going to become anything. And then here we are still tattooing. It oh. just gets more popular. It does. I'll see it tattooers really, with, really does. It with like no crazy. tattoos. And I'm like, this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> but like uh, when you're younger, like when I was new in the industry, I was getting tattooed all the all time. time. Any free time. So you're in that right now. Yeah, I'm like once a month at least. So I think you should. He's like 16 years old. So I know. He like, heals the next yeah, day. I was, yeah. you know, when I was 16, I was getting tattooed all the time too. It was so cool. Yeah. But Cam's actually getting like cool tattoos. I was getting uncool, like shitty tattoos. Yeah, I'm super lucky to work with like some of these guys. Yeah. And I sucked. Yeah. He's actually a good tattooer too. Like how the hell did that happen? Was we it worth a, it? We had to suck for forever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cuz everybody else sucked. The whole industry kind of sucked. Even people even people 15 years ago that I like really looked up to, now when I look at that work, I'm like, "Wow, that's trash actually." But it it was not only sick at the time. I remember thinking, "I don't even know if I'll ever get to that level." Right? And it was like not <laughs> good at all. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> so was it worth getting tattooed on your day off? Yeah, it's not too bad cuz you just leave right after you get tattooed. Like you don't really have to Stay around. I mean, driving was miserable, though. Driving home? Yeah. Why? Because your knee was swollen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he saran wrapped my whole leg straight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nate does the saran wrap <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he wraps you tight, dude. You're well, even like any full color, I'll like saran wrap the first day, let it leak, yeah. and then I'll do like the... Yeah, I woke up this morning still recovery. leaking. Yeah. That Will you just let it gross. go or you'll change to like a Durham product? No, I, to be honest with Nate, I just let it, I want that shit to dry out. Yeah. He's like the only person I like semi-dry heal my tattoos. What, how do you heal your tattoos? Uh, I go out to the Everglades and I catch like alligators. <laughs> some shit. Yeah. And I rub, Same day. I rub mud, like really rough into it. Yeah. Why don't you try that? I let my dog lick it off. Nobody does a trick. Do you have a dog? That's some Florida man shit right there. Yeah. Dog. Gotta get a dog. Dog lick the tattoo <laughs> after. For some reason, it heals great. Do that. Yeah. Is this good? Am I close enough for you? <laughs> what do you tell your clients? My clients? Yeah, oh, the same God. thing. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on where they're from. Like, if they're from like a different, yeah, it depends on what state they're coming from or what place. You know, right. if they're because a lot of my clients are getting on a plane the next day. Yeah. So, like, if they're getting on a plane, I'll tell them to use Sanaderm, even though I don't really like it that much right florida clients yeah for some reason my florida people sanaderm really pisses off their skin yeah i don't know why Probably the humidity is that all derm products or just certain uh, ones yeah most most of them yeah, yeah. Like the freaking second skin um, there's, a, there's a bunch of freaking yeah. companies now so what your saran wrap guy yeah now um especially like if they're staying at a hotel or something i'll have them saran it for a day and then sanaderm it for yeah the yeah the next day some people black and gray tattoos i don't even fucking wrap it like yeah. maybe wrap it until they get home and then just let it ride for yeah a black and gray well, tattoo. nate's thing with the second skin stuff is just like the color stuff's just bleeding so much it just yeah. pushes so the wrap ink. off yeah. yeah the wrap just doesn't stay on anyway your tattoos are pretty saturated yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Then it depends on how much the person bleeds too. Yeah. yeah. Cause if they're bleeding like crazy, I'm not going to put a sanity. They're right, going to be leaking right. for the rest of the night. Yeah, exactly. I'll just tell them to do it the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With mine, with the black and gray, like three round liner, just spit on it, kiss on their forehead and send them yeah, out. Dude, that, that shit's to be honest, you can't with, fuck it up. With stuff like that, if you do wrap it, like the third day when the wrap's off, tattoo's yeah. fully healed. Yeah. yeah. 
whatever. You put lotion on for two days, you're good. Does everyone do different healing methods at your shop? Everybody. Bro, yeah. Randy is like, have you seen it? the size of I saw, tattoos I saw what he did on your does? side. Bro, but he did, even the other day, he did a shark. That was, I'm not kidding. This dude was 300 pounds, so he had a big thigh. The shark was... The shark was a back piece on her, <laughs> literally. Were you gonna back piece on Probably you, me, yeah. bro? He did it in one session. That's bro. wild. It's solid color, yeah. bro. It's just fire. So, yeah, it is. Yeah, Randy. So his sick. tattoos are like, bro. You gotta like sleep for three days. He just gives you a sleeping just, bag. It's just brutal, bro. Like brutal. Is he, is he heavy handed? Oh my yeah. god, we call him <laughs> Heavy Hand Randall. Like he's fucking. He's sick. Though. Yeah. Sick. Cause he did that that wizard on your leg, right? Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, he kills it, bro. Yeah, he tattoos really fast. Like, yeah, and so does Nate. Nate I don't, yeah. bro. I'll be like halfway through the seven hour session, and I'll be like four inches up, and I'm like, I'm moving too fast. Like, <laughs> don't rush the piece, <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude, I don't have the attention span for that. Yeah, like I tattoo for five or six hours, and then I'm like, I need to stop, right? Because I'm like, I have. A, just like other things to do. I'm too, I'm too like ADD to be sitting down all day. Yeah. Well, you do a lot of conventions or you were, I right? I did. Yeah. yeah. Cause those are even longer days. Yeah. No, that was just, I'm so over it. Like I'm going to do like the cool ones this next year. Yeah. Just like a couple of rock star conventions. You doing Philly? That's it. Maybe I might do Philly. Philly's like still really early on in the year. Yeah. And I'm going to have my, my daughter is going to be born. That's right. This Saturday, bro. I'm going to wow. be like, I mean, I'm already a dad because she's like in there kicking and being all alienish. Yeah. But like, she's going to be like out in the world on Saturday. Be able to hold her. This Saturday? This wow. Saturday. Like, she's getting like evicted from my house. <laughs> yeah, she's out. Congrats, dude. My girl's sick of her being in there. What kind of feelings are going on with that? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I don't either. Yeah, yeah, I made a little human. This is yeah. gonna be crazy. I'm scared to death. Right, honestly, I made a little girl. You know, you yeah, mean, you know how I am. I'm yeah, people, like it's like <laughs> God's way. Yeah, exactly. It's like God's like fuck you, Tyler. Nolan. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a kid, and it's gonna be a girl this year. If your you your me, move, Tyler. If you were to tell me that <laughs> shit last year, December of last year, when I was even even New Year's, New Year's, bro. I was sitting on a fucking beach in Costa Rica with like macaws <laughs> flying over me and shit, catching crocodiles. You know, if you were to yeah. be like, yo, next year, actually in two months, you're going to get your girlfriend pregnant and then you're going to have a baby that year. I'd be like, and it's a girl. Like, Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. would have fought, bro. I yeah. I've been like, yo, let's throw down right now. <laughs> like, not cool. And here I am. I mean, you have, house, you have people kid. close to you that have you know, had kids and been through it and, you know, Chase and whatever. Are you able to like pull from their experience? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Chase is definitely my, my nephew's what five now. So, you know, seeing all the shit that Chase has gone through with his kid and his baby mama and stuff definitely like gives me a little bit of guidance as to what to do and what not to do. <laughs> yeah. But who knows, bro? You know who makes it look easy? Who? Seth. Oh, yeah. That He's was, got three yeah, kids, know, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know Seth had kids. Yeah, me neither. For like the first fucking year that I knew him. And he was like, yeah, I got three guys. I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, there's you no way children? this dude's a dad. I just watched you get your butthole tattooed, Yo, bro. and if you, ask you him, if you ask him now, he's like, yeah, I'll have more kids. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like, crazy. I'll adopt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's wild. You I got kids, like Cam? No. <laughs> oh, thank God. I can't even take care of myself. That's illegal, right? <laughs> it's got to be illegal. <laughs> Fucking shit. So that'll change some stuff for you, right? It'll change a lot of things. But you're you're preparing now, right? You just got a new house. You got some property. Bro, the second that I found out that I was having a kid, like I literally told my assistant, I was like, bro, book me every day. Until the kid's born. I've been grinding and tattooing every single day yeah. since that like I just I just took some time off because I bought a house. Yeah. And I'm getting everything ready. How's that going with the new house? It's cool. It's awesome. I got three acres. That's way sick. out way out there, bro. I can do whatever the hell I want. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have all my animals, bro. I got big ass alligator. You got some privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm in like a townhouse and it is impossible to see my neighbors. And my neighbors are cool, but like I don't like people, especially at like seven in the morning when I'm walking my dog. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like go away, <laughs> you know? 
And like, I kind of grew up in an area where everyone just had land. So you never had to deal with that. Right. Like it was kind of a mission to see people. And I miss that. Like in the city or you I mean, see there's everyone. still like, I forget who the hell I was talking to the other day, but I was, they, were, they were like, where'd you move to? And I was like, oh, I live in Loxahatchee now. And there's like, oh, you live in squares. And I was like, yeah, squares. <laughs> like that number fucking it clicked. I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, I live in fucking squares. Cause look, yeah. if you look on a map, it's yeah. literally that whole area, Loxahatchee, Loxahatchee the acreage, Royal yeah. Palm, it's all fucking squares, bro. Cause everybody just has their little lot. Mm hmm. It's all yeah. fucking north, south, The area is on the come up too, though. Yeah, it's, I used to go out sick. there like early 2000s or my brother, and it was just like all dirt roads, right. but you go up there now yeah, and it's starting to pave shit. Yeah, I live on a paved road. Yeah. And I think you can get a little yeah. more for your money where it makes a little more sense, right or oh, wrong. Bro, yeah. Like yeah. Three it's acres good, over here. Right now is a good investment bro, too because I know it's it. only going to continue yeah, to go up just, that it's area. It's not squares over here. It's like dot work, bro. And yeah, they're just stacked on top of each other and it's like a million dollars for 100 feet. Bro, seriously. Like now that I'm I'm still in my Boca house, I'm still moving everything from that house to the yeah. new house. You were there a while, right? Six years, five years. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. It's going to be cool. And all the animals, right? All the animals. And you're building outdoor stuff for the animals. Yeah, I'm moving, like, I think I counted before I moved, we're moving, like, 130-something animals over. <sighs> Damn. You know? And a lot of them are, like, a lot of them are venomous shit that can kill you. A lot of them are, like, decent-sized alligators. And you got big, a cow, big, right? I got modern big lizards, lizards the size yeah. of Kim, bro, literally. <laughs> and a cow. The cow. <laughs> you got a shit, cow, dude. A cow. <laughs> the goats, the chickens. Yeah. The birds, sick. bro. The macaws, the cockatoos, the fucking dry. I got Valdabra tortoises. I got spur thigh tortoises. I got, we just moved my 300 gallon reef tank yesterday. It weighs a thousand pounds. Yeah. yeah. But it's cool because it's your place, right? right? So like whatever you build is yours to keep. It adds value to the house. You can right. customize it. That's sick. That is sick. Yeah. I'm going to about to redo it. And your girl's down with all the animals, right? Yeah, she's awesome. She That's just, wild. I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm building a I'm building a huge lemur cage on the patio. She's like, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, that'll look nice. Yeah, I do yeah. peep how you let the monitor, like, chill on the cat. Yeah, the, the monitor cat thing. just walks around the house and shit. He's on, like, the cat post. Yeah, watches, <laughs> That's funny. He watches movies and films and stuff. We got the cat, the lizard. Yeah. Meanwhile, Adrian has a dog that he can barely keep alive. Nope. <laughs> One, <laughs> One animal. animal. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, so that's the whole thing. They're like, yo, are you ready to be a dad? And I'm like, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I just take care of animals. It's, it's like a kind of like a human baby is like kind of like an animal. Well, know? yeah, you've already proved time You're and time like, again that yeah. you can take care of and keep it. stuff you, like, alive. Put it in like this thing that it sleeps in. You know, I take yeah. it out in the morning, do some things with it, give it some more food, burp it, put it right. back to sleep, play with it a little bit. And that kid's going to grow up with a zoo. <laughs> Which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. My daughter is going to be feeding full grown fucking alligators by the time she's like. I was going to say, how, how yeah. is that going to go? Like with having a baby around with all these crazy animals. How do you think I got the way that I am? Yeah, I around all this shit when I was a kid too. You know, I grew up fucking catching coral snakes and fucking with alligators since I was a little, little ass kid. Yeah. I'm from Florida, you know. Where are you from? Florida. <laughs> from Florida? I'm a city boy though. City boy? Yeah. What's yeah, it? I was born in like West Palm. Yeah. Where are you from, actually? Pompano. Pompano? Pompton. Yeah. yeah. Dang, <laughs> Pompton. Pompton. All right. Cypress Creek Elementary. Yeah, so you were just, like, running around, like, stealing shit yeah. and doing hood rat mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still learning. I came down here. They're like, here's a gun. Watch out for alligators. It's yeah. sunny out. Yeah, I gotta have. I was like, here's some drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, Stay away from the animals. <laughs> I had some friends that were like, hey, you want to try these drugs? And I was like, no, nah, not really. <laughs> maybe some of them. <laughs> all right, maybe a little bit. <laughs> You're just taking all of them, I guess. No, we were kind of smart about it. But we definitely had way too many opportunities than you should have had at like, that what? age. It'll make me <laughs> <laughs> what? No, we never do that. <laughs> That's gross, guys. We, I, I've tried to tell them a lot, and now that you're here, we could talk about it. We had animals at this shop when we opened. Oh yeah, a bunch. Yeah. I mean, that's just how it is. Yeah. A lot of animal friends and like I tattoo a lot of animal people. So yeah, like, I almost, if I didn't have such a long ass drive today, my alligators are still at the Boca house. I was going to bring one of my alligators just, <laughs> just to be fucking funny. I yeah. think we should do like a, some skit with something. Like I'll bring one of the okay. gators in or I wish I could bring one of my cobras. 
Yeah, I didn't realize it was that long of a drive. Honestly, Cam, I was hoping he brought something in to bite you. Yeah. I, I, was, I, I wasn't going to bring an alligator, but the drive was long. I didn't feel like stopping and taking even longer. What size alligator? Like a little one? Um, my alligator's maybe like four feet right now. So like, oh, so it could fuck you up. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. No, a baby gator. I mean, it's a four fuck foot you gator. You know? Yeah, but I feel like you could, it wouldn't be great, but you could take a bite from like a little one. Yeah, like on your arm. Yeah. yeah. Just give him yeah. like. I mean, we've definitely, maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, Allegedly. Parties on 4th of July at John Wall's house. Me making next. alligators yeah. bite nipples and butts and all sorts of funny things. Definitely don't do that. Because, yeah, never mind. But yeah. We do funny stuff with stuff. They do it in the wild. Just got to let them, you know. Touch I mean, you've gotten ones. bit by a lot of different animals, right? Yeah, I've been bit by a lot of things. Right. Like the cobra. The cobra, yeah. I lost my part of my finger right there. And that's, that's your tattoo in hand, ago. right? Yeah. But I hold my, you know. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I feel like your middle finger is yeah, almost more really important. Affect, it's my, the really thing that it affected is like shooting. I shoot guns uh, a lot yeah. too. Do you have to shoot with your middle finger now? Yes, yeah, so I shoot my middle and finger. And giving the peace sign, right? Peace sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. People would be like, yo, peace. And I'd be like, yeah. Peace. Oh, well, fuck you, then. Like, oh, fuck you, bro. I'm like, dude, that's not what I meant. I'm at peace, bro. What up, peace? Whatever. Like, especially on my boat. Everybody, you know, are you passing people on the boat? They're like, oh, hey, oh, hey. And I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> hey, watch out for that fucking animal guy. He's dead. <laughs> fuck, fucking tatted up, fucking dude. Animal. Just flip me off. Dude, people are <laughs> fucking assholes. And you're still doing a lot of the filming with the animals, right? Yeah. Yep. That's another reason why I got my property. Um, so I'm on three acres now. So right now with my class two uh, crocodilian permit, I can only have crocodilians up to four feet right now. Cool. So now that I have over two and a half acres, I can have full grown crocodilians. So the land factors into the licensing? Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, like I also have my class one permit. So I could technically, if I wanted like tigers and fucking lions and all that other <laughs> big cats, Wow. I technically have that stuff too. Watch out, Carol. But asking. you need the land for it and the time yeah. and the money. It's probably expensive to keep yeah, a big, big cat. Yeah, big cats. If I want to go fuck with big cats, I just go to my friends' houses. You know? Yeah. It's just way easier, you know? But that's a whole different like whole ball different game, ball right? Game, yeah. yeah. Big cat people are strange. Especially yeah. Army, well, because obviously the documentaries and stuff came out on Netflix and made it look pretty bad. Is it like that? Like, is it a rough industry? No, but like, we're weird, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like the tattoo industry. Like, we're fucking weird. You don't really yeah, understand right. it unless you're in it. Yeah. They're yeah. Weird. Everybody's got their own weird, you know? Yeah. Like, Just a different kind. Yeah. Well, right. That weird shit. You're into weird somewhere. Yeah. Like, you know? It's whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Like, definitely with the shaming anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the, uh, Tattoo world, I feel like it's way more because like my girl will talk about it. She's like, I don't, I don't get it. Like we just kind of like say whatever the fuck we want. Mm -hmm. Some people might look at it as like ultra offensive or like, yo, you guys should like come come back down to earth a little bit. You know, whether it's just tattooing your whole body or skin suspension stuff or body modification. Like, yeah, I'm sure people look at that and they're like, why? That's weird. Why do you do that? You know. Yeah, no, I don't fucking know either. I'm like, I don't, I don't you. fucking know, dude. <laughs> right. This is what we started doing forever ago, and I still do it. Yeah. I yeah. No. But it's even, I mean, it's changed a lot since you and I came in. Oh, yeah. It's totally changed. Well, I mean, what was your apprentice like for someone that just went through for Cam? Ass beat on a daily basis, right. bro. Like, because Cam thinks his was really hard. Physically abused. Like, physically abused literally yeah. like not just your paintings ripped up in front of you but like punched in the fucking face and your flare chipped your desk flipped <laughs> fucking humiliated in front of hundreds of people at tattoo conventions yeah like your like, idols that's bro, that's cars rough. getting <laughs> fucking destroyed bro like the horrible shit yeah girlfriends getting fucked <laughs> you name it you gotta be willing to do anything Back in the day, sucked. Yeah, I didn't really feel like I had any other choice. I was like, I have to become a tattoo artist because no other job will accept me. So I just got to put up with whatever yeah. it is. You either sell drugs or draw pictures. Yeah, <laughs> or both. I, mean, I was decent yeah. at both. So. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. <coughs> Take the legal route with that one. So, and you did that 
in Florida, right? Yeah. Everything was in Florida. Everything in Florida. Yeah. Didn't go to high school. Did not go to high school? No. Like yeah, at I all? I don't have a high school diploma at all. That's sick. Like, yeah. If I, I've actually had to, uh, a couple of tattoo conventions to have like a temporary tattoo license in a couple of different states, you have to have a high school diploma. Really? Yeah. So I just Photoshop Chase's shit. Nice. Easy. Yeah. Use what, use what you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely Photoshopped some. Bloodborne pathogen. Bro, everything, bro. The first Wait, 10 I think, years I, think, I tattooed, bro. I never had <laughs> shit. Tattoo conventions. Did you do your paperwork? Yes. <laughs> Photoshopped yeah. everything, bro. Yeah. We didn't do any of that shit back in the day. We're, you, we were all together at that one convention, right? Probably. You know, yeah. We and like had the whole shop. <laughs> like yeah, that's how we did shit, yeah. bro. We photoshopped it, especially with fucking, and then as soon as we got iPads, we were like, wow, this is even easier. Right. <laughs> no more cut and paste bullshit. Yeah. No more know. fancy copy or stuff. You know what that's like. Yeah, you don't know, Cam. Yeah, my whole career's been on an iPad. Tr- tr- tracing fucking paper, bro. Yeah. Remember making mandalas with tracing paper? Bro, you fold it like apps. fucking nine times. We have apps for that shit. Yeah. yeah. You You're like, apps. whoop, it's we like mandala. Fold, <laughs> we had to fold paper and use fucking rulers. Fucking doing origami yeah. and shit. Dude, last. Uh, episode or the episode before I was talking about like the big flash sheets and when you get new pieces and you had to make the line drawings for them and stuff, Mm -hmm. you know, that was miserable. And then your mentor would be like, yeah, it's not good enough. Like this is going on fucking people's skin and you come at me with this shit. Rip it up, throw in the garbage. Yeah. Smack you. Right. So you go sit in the corner. And you just use some paintbrush that is the same with the whole time. And you're like, how do my lines look? Yeah, with like the stabilizer and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even even if you're fucking cracked out on yeah. coffee, your lines are perfectly straight. Right, Cam? Must be nice. What like other facts is for the apprenticeships? It's just how, to, I don't know, just today's... You have to be like very nice. My generation's soft. You have to yeah. be careful what you like, say. We soft. Like even I wasn't, I never really had an apprenticeship, but I still was an 18 year old tattooer, you know? Yeah. So even though I started tattooing, and I dropped out of, I, I got expelled from high school. I haven't been in school since I was 14. I started yeah. tattooing when I was fucking 15. Yeah. Like literally. So by the time I turned 18 and I was able to work at a shop, I already been tattooing for three years. So it wasn't like I got an apprenticeship. I just was an 18 year old tattooer that got fucking picked on everywhere I went. Cause I was a little guy, you know? Yeah. And that's just how it was, bro. But it was all fucking nowadays, bro. I could call the cop, bro. Tick fucking TikTok, bro. Like nowadays, if we were to do that to somebody, bro, all these little fucking fat, all these little bitches <laughs> on the internet. All they got to do is make a fucking TikTok about it and, and like, you're canceled, it. bro. Yeah. Be like, oh, I work for Tyler Nolan. He's a fucking, yeah. he's a sexist, racist, fucking asshole, blah, blah, right. blah. It's like, no, bitch. It's like, you're just soft. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm trying to tough you now. Shit's funny. Like, some shit's funny. Like, we fuck around with people and, like, we maybe we push the envelope a little bit, but, yeah. like, we well, and everything's the recorded era. now, right? Yeah, There's exactly. no privacy. Everything's recorded. I mean, bro, we even did a skit not too long ago where we just wanted to have like a girl actress in the video and we didn't have one. So we threw a wig on Logan over there and like weren't even thinking about it. And everyone's like, drunk when this is transphobic. Yeah, dude. And, and it went it's off. Like, what? And we didn't even, we're like, oh, we didn't even like think that would be a thing. We're just... We're like, okay, just pretend he's a girl. Nobody cared this about this. This is acting. No one cared about Adrian's photo shoot, though. Yeah, well, that's no. another. That's another. But like, you don't. You just issue. don't know. Like, it could just be taken the wrong way and like blasted off. And yeah, well, people they're want. About, they're offended about everything. Though. Yeah, right. people always try to look at the bad part, though. They're like, yeah. how can I twist this to yeah. make it? When everyone up? thinks the internet's real, like whatever's on there's yeah. real. That's what it is. People don't understand satire at all. Yeah, or even just like people are quick to put up what they think are like facts and it's not like cited anywhere. Yeah. And it's like, Oh, I saw this article on Facebook. It's not even real. And I'm just going to tell everyone that it is real. And everyone thinks that's, that's the way it is. You know, COVID made a lot of people crazy too. COVID was wild. wild yeah. But it, Did you guys it made you, a lot of people weird. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, because they were inside the whole time. Yes, now, now, now they're scared of everything. They're offended by everything. COVID got weird here at the shop. Really? Yeah, because we, um, they were like, whatever, we didn't close down. We just garbage bagged the windows, right. whatever. We took appointment only. Yeah. Uh, 
So it was really just like the homies in here, yeah, like we longtime were, clients, yeah. the guys and whatever. And they like, after one week, they realized like, it's pretty much just like friends. Right. You know, so they would like start partying a little bit, you know, sooner, whatever. And then um, I wasn't really noticing because a lot of it was like happening in the back and I was just up here tattooing with like Nate and, you know, those kind of people. It's nice being up here. I remember what that was like. Yeah, yeah. Back is weird. That was back shit. Yeah, yeah there's like, like a whole different like, country oh, no, they're back, in the back. back. Yeah, yeah. Right. A whole different I, civilization. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I. I don't think I saw like the escalation of what was happening, because the whole world was like shut down at the time, right? Yeah. And like, literally, just tattooing friends. It was only friends, so there wasn't any people we didn't know. And then one day, like, I see it's like midday. The lights are off in the back, and I hear this like weird jungle trance music like you know and i'm like what's going on <laughs> you know so i like walk back there and all like the lights are off didgeridoos yeah, dude yeah and there's just neon light there's a rave going on back there and i like i'm like what did nate start it no dude i'm like what's happening <laughs> um you know crooks yeah dude crooks is back there i'm like this can't be fucking good like Whatever. Anyway, like it, it was, it was a party, you know, and that's like the nicest way to say. It. And I was like, dude, like guys enough. Like I, if you want to do this, like go to your fucking house There's and do this is being done. Yes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> a few Always people were like, fun. a few people were meeting God, Hell you know? Yeah. And I was like, come on guys. <laughs> you know? Hey, sometimes you just need that spiritual, you know, you know, at work, you know, you just gotta like, okay. yeah. One guy was running around. He's like, oh, I'm an astronaut. Like, All right. Well, I was like, that's it. Like, enough. Like, I was cool. Stop with, doing drugs and get back to work. Pretty much. <laughs> I was like, you can do this shit at your house. Because um, I was kind of. You have to tell your employees to stop doing drugs. <laughs> it's so <laughs> annoying, dude. <laughs> what's sad is like. Oh, what's it like being a shop, ta- yeah. a shop owner? Oh, fuck. Let me tell yeah. you. Yeah. Stop He's fucking like, each other. Yeah. Stop doing drugs. <laughs> right. Don't get in trouble for any of this. It's just and like, then they not get here. mad at you. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> Right. How come we can't right. suck each other's dicks and fucking do right. cocaine? What? Yeah, John's such a fucking dick. He said I couldn't do DMT at the shop. <laughs> Prick, bro. Shout out, dude. I brought my dad brick so you can't even like smell it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was like, they kind of recently people were upset because I was like, you can't smoke blunts in the shop. They're like, oh, well, you remember how we had it though? Dude, I well even after yeah I forgot that was that was a different thing. Bro, we it was like straight fog this private place studio fuck out sometimes, bro. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah, we'd have like you, you know, Ricky, we'd have like fucking six blunts going in this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> people are people are walking blunts in and out the fucking package. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think at the time too, this shop was more of like a private studio. Yeah, at first it definitely was more. Private. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that makes it okay for some reason. Heads. And then we had to like tell everybody, remember when we were like no smoking during the day? Yeah. And they all lost People had minds. meltdowns. They were so mad. Yeah. They it's like medication. Just see Nate. It was like, <laughs> fuck you. He's like, he's like, yo, do you know he, he quit? He's like, I'm not fucking not smoking. It's even with Eric. Like even Eric now today, bro. Yeah. If I were to tell Eric he's not allowed to smoke at the shop during the day, all hell would be. <laughs> probably cry honestly yeah <laughs> you get very well that's def- that's it. like people's process i guess it's no, part of their for process sure. yeah whatever dude if i smoked and tried to tattoo Retarded. i'd be like yeah, what am, am I, I being weird, weird right now <laughs> yeah, no. I, cause dude, cause am you, i tattooing weird am i breathing on you too hard <laughs> fuck what am i doing does this look like the this guy's mom that i'm tattooing <laughs> bro even for me like i smoke weed and I feel like the weed just keeps getting stronger and stronger. Like I'll it's smoke crazy. weed sometimes. Like I was smoking my boy the other night. We smoked a blunt, which also I haven't fucking smoked. I only smoke at night now for the yeah. most part because I have like anxiety and like sleeping. You know, it helps me sleep and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Chill out. But dude, I was like not okay. Like I left and I was like, oh yeah, we were. I was moving and I rented this twenty foot six U-Haul. We smoked a blunt before I was driving the U-Haul from Boca to the acreage. Right. And bro. And then you had to drive it. It was the scariest oh, I would hate shit that. ever, dude. I, I was that. on I-95 in this 26-foot U-Haul. 
fucking like this, like trying to drive and see what I was doing. I thought I was, ho- I thought I was going so fast, bro. I look at the spot, I'm going like 60, <laughs> yeah, bro. And I was like, this is not cool. I'd be like, I'm gonna hit someone. Yeah, I'm just gonna scared. get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> I was legit scared. And I started thinking about all this other crazy shit and like. Yeah. Ugh. And then you're like, oh, focus, eyes on the road. Yeah, sometimes weed is not fun now. It's yeah. too strong. Whatever. Y'all smoke shit and be like, that was like a Percocet. <laughs> like, oh. I'm rocked. <laughs> Percocet doesn't make me that retarded. Yeah. I was fucking out of it. Nope. Yeah. But some people, I mean, you know, because I, I remember in like high school, I was smoking every day and it just became used to it. I think that's that's also factors in. Like if your tolerance is there, right? Because you'll go outside and rip and then fucking you're go fine. Go right back to tatting. Yeah. yeah. Except for that one time. Interviewed. Yeah, no. that was bad. Oh, I heard about that. <laughs> Yo, it was bad. I almost threw up. It was so. Bad. Yeah, well, talking when you're really high to a camera is not cool. Dude, I no, was. I, getting, don't, I don't do YouTube shows. I was online. shivering, getting like dab sweats. Yeah, I was uncomfortable. Yeah, dude, especially the dabs, bro. Yeah. It's like it's weed crack. Yeah, yeah. I never did that. I, no, that was like after my crack. time. And I remember like, when some crazy shit. shit Dan, had got, Dan's getting crazy shit. He's not getting like normal oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's probably Dan's probably smoking the. It's like fucking diamond. The THC crystal. Yeah, diamond that's what fucking, it was. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was. And I did bro. a gram of it. He's like, yeah, you can only get this in like one place, super yeah. far. Fucking, I get the plug. You can tell like the quality of his weed just by how his sweatpants look. They're like stained <laughs> and like weird. You look like <laughs> never, that, never yeah, washed I'm them. Too high to do anything. <laughs> He's like, this shit went through like a 10 year curation process. Yeah. Yeah. Shit's rough. Fuck no. Do most people smoke at your shop? Um, no. You no. listen, Randy, you know, sometimes every now and then, I'll, if Randy's like, if we're out somewhere drinking or something, which yeah. I don't even really drink, I think I've been drunk once this. Yeah, year. yeah. Um, Randy will smoke a couple hits if he's drunk, but then he gets like super weird and has to leave. Yeah. And then Euless, <laughs> like, same thing. Euless is like fucking like, Shit. Yeah. You know, getting all paranoid and weird. And I think they just made it that you can get your your card and your concealed at the same time, right? Wasn't there like some debate on that for a little I don't bit? No, but that would be tight. My, like no, you have to it's the way you're supposed to do it. You're oh. supposed to do the med card first. Uh, I don't I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to get your license first. So the concealed is a much stronger background check. Yeah. So if they yeah. Go, well, it doesn't matter. I don't have either. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I live in America. I yeah, carry a gun because I can. Okay? Weed's decriminalized yeah. right now anyways. Yeah, it's really not that big of a deal. Even even having guns and shit. Like, I've been pulled over several times with my pistol, and I don't have a fucking concealed permit, and I've never been in trouble. Yeah, you just be honest. Except for that one time. That's right. But I had that other stuff also. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, the I ammo. think weed and guns is cool. Yeah, the mixture. <laughs> yeah, they're like, all right, that's not that bad. You're going to smoke right. a little bit of weed and shoot and stuff, whatever. <laughs> right. But if, you know, got that devil's dandruff. Right, you can't chase it with everything. Book of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> no, them nose bears. That's right. Yeah, they're like, nah, that's not cool, dude. Because <laughs> they get it. They're like, if you do that and you use that, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, if you smoke weed, you go to up. sleep. Yeah. Relax. Hyper. You gotta go. Do you have a gun? It's never good. Mm-hmm. Here at the shop? No. It's you got home. to. It's, it's at home. home. Especially Mine's at home. He lives yeah. in Pompton. You know? No, now yeah, I live better, in Coral Springs. Watch out. Coral Springs? It's way nicer. Yeah, it's way nicer. For sure. Way nicer, yeah. yeah Pompton by the That's where you are now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If I still lived in Pompton. <laughs> Just grabbed up. Yeah. Yeah, that's like I'm always back and forth about because I live like a fucking block away from the shop. So that's nice to like walk or whatever. But then I also don't want to pay the fucking prices because I want to like move. I want to, you know, move into a house or the yard. I'm in like a townhouse now. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just so expensive. So I'm like, ah, maybe I should just fucking move out and commute. I just don't like to drive. Right. Most of the time I don't drive. Most of the time Seth picks me up or I walk. (laughs) Nice. Well, also you didn't have like your car was all fucked up forever. It still is. I don't have a car still, right it's now. It's fucked up again. I yeah, that's right. The rock thing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Damn, dude. <laughs> and my truck's in the shop. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Yeah, well, well that's, that's what I don't like cool. about driving. Is it causes like problems <laughs> for you? Yeah, for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just don't have very good luck with it. Two cars, both in the shop right now. 
Truck's been in there for two years. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Whatever. So then, so my plan was to get a house with a big driveway so that I could get more cars. To not drive. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, this is my car collection. Yeah. Uh, I got to go to work, so my Uber's going to be here. Right. Like, that's right. <laughs> he just walks. <laughs> Seth's picking me up. <laughs> but whatever. I've been trying to convince Seth to get a, a nicer car for me. Nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Uber XL or yeah, Uber Deluxe I don't, or whatever. I don't even called. remember how it happened, but for like a few weeks, like when we were like buying and selling the cars, um, I got a 2017 S550, the Mercedes, mm -hmm. and we were driving that around for a little bit, and it was nice to be driven around in that, dude. Yeah. So I'm trying to get him to get a more luxury. Like he's looking at like sports cars now, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so, man. Mm -hmm. Should go for luxury, luxury, you know, with like a big back seat, yeah, <laughs> like a Maybach or something. Like a couple phone calls. <laughs> yeah, dude, there was a while where like Seth was just in a different car every month. Were you around for that? Mm -hmm. But when I got here, he was in the Civic. Dude, Seth's got a good gig, bro. He does, he's, he's a decent gig. Yeah. And then when like uh, when Robo was still around and he had that car dealership, when Seth Robo was still. Yeah. Oh, he's just not around now? Right. No. Okay. Yeah. Right. It sounded like he died for no, a no, second. No, no, he's not around. <laughs> no, no, no. Damn, he's just not around. Gotcha. So. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. But Seth was just like trading in cars. Like one week he had, um, you know, like a six series coupe. And then he didn't like that because it smelled like a crayon. And then he do smell like crayons. Right? I guess that's German a thing. cars, yeah. Volkswagens. Fucking. Yeah, there's a few crayon smelling cars. Yeah. And then he had this like E550. It was like a 2010. That was sick, actually. The old Mercedes. And then he had a Cadillac, which was cool. But then he loved the Cadillac. He was like, cool, I'm going to keep this one. And then he hit a puddle too fast and it totaled his car. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck that happened. Like it flooded probably next the to that rock that you hit. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Cousins. <laughs> Good. But yeah, yeah so cars, are, cars are nightmares. And like I've seen Seth go through it and whatever. But then I see people, you've seen those like one wheel things? Oh my God. What's up with those? Death traps. Bro. That's what I thought. Death traps. And these kids It's like more dangerous than a motorcycle. Jump, dude. Am I film guy? Oh, you've met him before. That Ronan kid, he's, he's back in the day. He, he stopped came, by when I was at your shop? Yeah, he came here to fucking do some shit. He yeah. rides one of those things. Bro, he takes him to like Markham Park and shit and goes on the off-road bike courses yeah. They off road with those fucking things. That's Jump wild. Them up in the air and We're about those like one wheel feet. skateboard. Yes, things? the one wheels. Dude, they like strap it. He's got the, these straps that strap oh, his wow. fucking feet into why? this thing. Bro, it's like a death trap. Yeah. I don't know why. They love that shit. Some people are really good at There's it. There's like bro. motorcycle gangs that pass here yeah, like that. They're, they're like yeah, 100 deep, yeah, just dudes dead. on their one yeah. wheels. Yeah, it's like the fucking the bicycle I think people. Bro. I could get fucking good at that. Just get your mob rollout. Yeah. Drink IPAs and shit everywhere. Yeah, and we're in there I see him meet over here at the, the whole enchilada. That's like one of the clubhouses. Yeah. Oh yeah, they go for the tequila. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The tequila with their fucking mustaches and <laughs> fucking taco night on Tuesday. That's like the hipster thing, you know. Yeah, taco Tuesday. <laughs> and then have you seen the ones that it's like the two wheel Segway and it comes up and you hold it with your knees? Oh, those are so. That's cool. Though. <laughs> have you seen those? Yeah, they're that's fast. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they're they fucking are, bro. Like you can go like thirty. Ass. You probably go faster. The one I tried. My boy had one and he like didn't tell me nothing about it. He was like, just go try it. Cause for some reason I pick up those things quick. Like the one wheel I know I'd get fast and like whatever, like any weird thing. Even back in the day when they had like the rip stick, you remember those? Yeah. One day I was like cruising around <laughs> the house. I was like, I got this. Yeah, just looking like a complete idiot. Loser. Like, yeah. Dad, Never took it outside. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> I can't be seen That motion is just so <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Like you look like a fucking idiot. Right. Yeah, just go thing. skateboard. Yeah, it might be fun. She looked fucking retarded. Bro, but I hop on the Segway thing and like he played it so cool. He was like, yeah, it's easy. You figure it out. Like you used to skateboard a lot. Go ahead and do it. So it's like, it's, it's based off your weight. If you lean forward, it goes forward. If you lean back, it like stops. So I just hop on quick and like, I guess I pushed my toe forward. So it started to go forward and I was like, whoa. And I compensated back and then it went back. But then I wasn't ready for it, so I went forward again. And it's just, I was going like this <laughs> for like two minutes. My boy's dying laughing. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? So I just hopped off and the thing fell over and he's laughing. 
least and he's like, dude, that literally happens to everyone the first time they do that. <laughs> so then we like convinced all our other friends to do it, and the same thing happened. This like weird seesaw mm-hmm. thing. But I picked it up quick after that. You just can't be afraid to like commit to like yeah. leaning forward. Those things are dangerous, bro. Yeah, especially for a tattooer. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fuck risk, my that's hands a wrist up. breaker right there. Yeah, I try not to do a lot of shit that fucks with my hands. Dude, I stop yeah. skateboarding, all yeah. of that shit, all that shit. Even even off road and shit, cause I got like dirt bikes and stuff. Even like doing jumps and shit. Even, bro, my carpal tunnel, bro. Like just yeah. just just holding my grip sometimes is just like, right. Me fucking twisting that throttle and it's like, oh, bro, I get fucking locked up on it. Yeah, it's like it's a risk worth the reward. Oh yeah, all the fun stuff hurts now. Yeah, it was a sad day when I had to s- stop skateboarding because it's like, where's this going? I mean, hospital. like, yeah, to have fun. Yeah, to the hospital. That's <laughs> where it's going. You can't tattoo for a few months because you broke yeah. your wrist. Yeah. an idiot. Yeah. Trying to ollie a fucking Coke can on a sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. Good job, bro. Now you can't pay your bills. Because you, like, get to this Trying level. To ollie a Yoohoo bottle. Even. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get good at these things, and then you get to this level where, like, the only way you're going to have fun is to do dangerous things. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm not going to have fun just kind of, like, cruising. Like, I want to, like, jump a stair set or like a rail go down a fat hill right or if it's like the motorized vehicles like you want to do wheelies you want to go fast like it's just the dangerous stuff danger danger yeah i'm trying to get a side by side right now because i live out in locks yeah but bro do you ricky you see these side by sides that they bro fucking turboed out yeah side by sides that just do they just they just side by side a side by side is a four wheeler that you can put all your friends in, and it goes way faster. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a roll cage and shit. Oh, yeah. they're the big yeah, ones. Okay, yeah. little swamp buggy wheels yeah. and shit, bro. Those things, but they're so dangerous, especially for someone like me. I'm used to ride, you know, I'm used to riding motorcycles, bro. So you put me on something with four wheels, and I'm like invincible. Go fast. <laughs> I'm yeah, fucking, yeah, you're not. Does it have a seatbelt? Yeah, but like for some reason, as soon as I put on a seatbelt, I feel like I'm invincible. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. like same. We're, going, we're You're flipping not. this bitch. Here. You're right. So it's like this dangerous. false confidence. Yeah, so I'm trying to get like I'm gonna get a utility one now. Okay, so that's it's different. More for like you can have fun. You can have fun, but it has a flatbed on it too, so you can like do like yard work and shit. And like okay, like purposefully. Yeah, yeah, use yeah. It on yeah. The property, like that's what I'm gonna do. So that way, because if I, yeah, bro, because if I have a fucking, I'm gonna have a kid, dude. He's gonna be low in the. I can't be the fucking lawn, like ripping donuts over. with a fucking boosted right. side by. I could for sure. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's trust a good me, idea. I've been looking like, already for cars. That's like me and in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be dangerous. Well, and you just put it in the back seat. Life is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. my middle name. Oh, I saw that video. Yeah. Fuck. Holy shit. Yeah. No. It's like a freak accident. But I'll look at like dangerous videos online and I'll just be like, that'll never happen to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm so different. Man. Yeah. Until dangerous yeah, it already happened happen. once. It won't happen again. Yeah. Yeah. It's just dangerous. Bro. You got to have fun, though. You can't do nothing. Yeah. You know, no, you I can't be that. like, you know, I'm going to give up all fun things and just tattoo and whatever. You got to meet, you got to meet halfway somewhere. Yeah. No. Definitely, I'm trying to be safer. Now that I'm having a kid, like people months into it or months ago just when we first got into this whole pregnancy thing it still didn't really like hit me you know because like i almost get fucking killed on a daily basis like legitimately like literally yesterday i had to move what fucking 40 or 50 venomous snakes over to my boy's house and bro i got spit in the face twice yesterday by spinning cobra like right in my fucking eyes granted i wasn't wearing eye protection but like (laughs) We do some shit sometimes, like off camera, that like we're we're just doing shit fast, you know. Right, so I mean, right. so instead of fucking finding goggles and putting shit on, I'm fucking whipping spitting cobras right. out their cage and put them in their bags and shit quick. I mean, I get that you live with them, you're there, you get right. comfortable. Exactly, it happens. But still, you get yeah. spit on and fucking dude, venom it's all over you and fuck. I'm getting dude, like it's one of this one of these vipers that I have fucking almost got me right the fucking nipple again. Like, and that probably happens all the time. 
right? Yes. Yeah. It does because they're pissed off snakes. And how does uh, that work? Do you, you have anti venom at the house and stuff? I have anti venom for everything except for two pa- uh, one pair of snakes that I have. So two snakes out of my entire collection. There's no anti venom from. They're from the, they're the the Mangshin vipers. They're from the top of. So the are you? In do you look at them Asia. differently? You're like those two. Well, that's one I almost got bit by. <laughs> the last oh, wow. two close calls was from that fucking snake. Damn. Yeah, I just actually put a video on fucking uh, video online about it. Like recently, it was fucking on like, your uh, YouTube. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it, had, it got a few million views on it. Have you done research to figure out how, how far the anti-venom is? Because certain hospitals. Well, where I just moved to, where I just moved to. Did you see his finger? Yeah. Right. It looks m- like your leg. <laughs> where, where I just moved to my um, one of my neighbors he's two streets over my good friend Mark McCarthy he owns McCarthy's Wildlife in West Palm for anybody that wants to have an awesome wild animal encounter that's your place wow that's your place yeah um, but he also has a huge venomous collection and he has anti-venom for all his animals yeah which is everything that I have also thankfully. gotcha except for the mansions. <laughs> yeah the nipple biter the nipple biters you get bit you're done yeah, I'm sure I was pulling out Cobras and fucking here, take this out. Was the the only <laughs> time? I mean, my girlfriend. One of the first nights I ever hung out with my girlfriend. It was for my friend Chandler's birthday. I mean, you know, I guess this is. Can I say this? Yeah, sure. Nothing happened. Whatever. Yeah. But like, we when I was drinking, that's another dangerous thing about having dangerous animals and drinking and smoking weed and doing stuff like that. Is Drunk like, handling with Tyler. Yeah, you get dr- <laughs> when you're out partying, especially like me and yeah. You guys like, want to sell a snake? Yeah, especially, you know, I was just met my girlfriend. I was yeah. like, oh, you want to fucking come back right. to the house and see some crazy shit? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, sure. What? Some snakes? Yeah. yeah no anti venom. And then you're like, <laughs> fucking, here's a, here's a rattlesnake around your neck. And dude, yeah. you got fucking the girl on the floor fucking putting rattlesnakes on them and yeah, like, it's like a test shit. like how cool are you yeah she they, she passed yeah cause I need to be with someone cool and this is my life now she's having a baby yeah <laughs> <laughs> went from put yeah she let me put a rattlesnake on her the first night <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll show you a spitting cobra that yeah it's dangerous though. cause I mean a rattlesnake I got a I got a rattlesnake that's longer than this fucking table bro and just the venom yield from that snake like it'll pump like that is just so much venom dude. yeah like when they when they bite their like rabbits and shit that I feed them I feed them all frozen thawed but like they're still like you see venom just like gushing out and like Dude, it's fun. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's a lot. And then so you yeah, you, mean you got bit by the cobra. Have you got bit by anything else? Um like at that bit level? By like Gila monsters and shit. Yeah. I've had like a couple like weird dry bites. Um even just recently, what the fuck happened? Oh, what the hell was it? Fuck. I don't remember what it was. It was I think it was one of my cobras. Oh my god, my ring calls cobra. So I have these weird, like, South African spitting cobras. It's not really a spitting cobra, but they're called spit. Whatever. I'm not okay. going to get technical about it. It's all, I'm not going to go nerdy on you guys. But anyways, that snake okay. fucking struck out onto the, uh, it was on a, on a, uh, like, a small table. And it struck out while I was getting a, like, a close shot with my camera. And I'm holding it like this. Like, went to bite out? Yeah. And it okay. went to bite out at the camera. And obviously, I'm looking at my phone like an <laughs> idiot and not paying attention to the snake. And like, yeah, this is a great shot. It literally <laughs> grazed and sliced open the, be- like, the front of my oh, finger. Wow. And this is, like, a month ago. Yeah. A month and a half ago. Yeah. And I was just like... Oh fuck! So what do you do? <laughs> I don't like know. stop. I just you check like, it. Shit! Yeah. yeah, look at my. It's all on. It's all on film too. I didn't cool. put this on the internet. Oh okay. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put this one on the internet just because it's like it was like I thought I got bit again. Yeah. It was bad. Like I was bleeding and shit. Yeah. I even like I don't know if it's because I've already been envenomated by a cobra before, so like it, you taste it right away. You know when you get like an IV or you get like any kind of injections. Oh, you taste I know. It, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So like. Knowing that and tasting that before, like I kind of thought I oh, tasted the same yeah. thing, and I was like, mm, I was like, do I taste like I got envenomed? Is it like copper, right? Yeah, it's like pennyish kind of. That's my cam. That's my actual alarm to wake up. Really? <laughs> to wake up. <laughs> Your alarm to wake up. It is eleven a.m. People. 11 a.m. Make sure you're fucking awake, Cam. I'm a 
Yeah. You know how much shit I've already out. done by 11 a.m.? My most productive time of the day is like midnight to 3 a.m. Ew. Yeah, it's terrible. Spoken like a true 20 year old. <laughs> I guess so that bad. was kind of the, the case back in the day. Yeah, when, yeah. Wow. You take five? Yeah, let's just stay up all night. Oh. 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 Oh, we good? <laughs> Yo, don't put a dick on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. Oh. <laughs> Thumbnail, thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> all right, back to... Back to being serious, guys. That's right. We were just talking about some really controversial subjects that we can't have on camera. <laughs> just kidding. So what... Um, because we were just talking about Ink Master. Stink Master. How long into your career and how old are you when that became an option? I was 27 when I did it. Um, yeah. And I only really did it because uh, Instagram was just popping. Yeah. You know, that was like when Instagram was kind of new. Wow, or, how much that's fucking changed too. Yeah, I didn't even crazy. think of that. Yeah. yeah, that was like the whole Instagram thing started. So I was like, oh, cool. Like, right. Let's get our let's get our names out this way. Yeah. And then, you know, cause when I started tattooing, like I've been tattooing for fucking forever. You know, we bought magazines when I started tattooing. I remember being a yeah. kid, you know, and I had like, you know, Cam doesn't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right. They don't do tattoo mag 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 what? Uh, right. Right. Inked mag? <laughs> what? Is that like an iPad yeah, thing? There was these books that we used to buy <laughs> that were made out of paper and they had pictures in them. It was cool, right. like little articles. It wasn't even touch like, screen. Yeah, you could read it <laughs> on this paper. And there was like pictures. It was Physical really thing? cool. Yeah, and you like a spread day. of yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. They were they were cool. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so yeah, magazines back in the day that was like the hot shit. So like the only way you knew about good tattooers or like the famous ones was through tattoo magazines. Right. And then that became obsolete. It was like a huge deal if you got in a magazine. Deal. Yeah, huge yeah. fucking deal. Nowadays, right. you get in a magazine and people are like. Fucking who cares? Right. Yeah. Rap like, a fish. You're right. on a piece of paper? Right. Cam! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Cam? That's the that's real the one, alarm. That's, that's the you when you wake up. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> if I Cam, wake up! It's 11.05. <laughs> fuck me, dude. Are there, any, sure more, are there no, any more alarms? There Don't even edit one. this out. This is fucking funny. Jesus. There's like a 12 o'clock one. It's like, oh, you're late to work. <laughs> late to work. Cam, fire. 12.05 alarm. Fire. Don't go to work. <laughs> Have this labeled as late for work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Of course he does. Motherfucker. Right. What the fuck are we even talking about? Magazines. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, they're, they're not. So Instagram was kind of a thing. Yeah, magazines. <laughs> yeah. Lame. Instagram. Cool. Did they approach you? They're like, hey, would you be interested yeah, in coming on the show? Yeah, for a few years. They were like, hey, because they always have like different um, themes each season. So yeah. Andrea, the producer, was like, I got into contact with her. I don't even remember how. They just like emailed me because I right. was doing like Instagram shit. Yeah, snakes, yeah. And all that shit. Like he gets it. So, yeah, so they were like, oh, I already had a decent following on Instagram. So they were like, hey, you want to, would you want to be on this TV show? And they gave me the first couple ideas and it was stupid. And I was like, I don't Like for the previous seasons? Yeah, it was like uh, one of them was like versing your friend. Um, so they wanted me to go on the show with uh, my, one of my friends, and I was going to go on the show with my buddy Leif, who tattoos in Cocoa yeah, yeah. Beach. Um, and me and Leif were going to do it, and so me and Leif went through the whole interview process, and we put, we had a, we were friends. Right, he's my boy. I love him. Yeah, you don't want to verse him. Yeah, and they're like. Yeah, but like they want you to be like, yo, fuck you, yeah. you're a piece of shit. My tattoos are better. I fucked right. your girlfriend. Like, fuck right. all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they want. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I was like, I don't want to do that, my homie. Yeah. yeah. So then, yeah, I, I blew it off for a couple of years, and then they hit me up that one time about the it was like the Masters versus Apprentice thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fucking Chris would be really good for TV. Yeah. So I told them about Chris, and then we did the interview process thing with Chris. Yeah, we got it. We actually right. weren't gonna get it because of our like records. Like, oh Chris yeah, has, like some shit. I had like some shit. So right. they were like, "Yo, you guys, well, they almost You're too didn't. hard for the show." Yeah, they almost didn't let us do the show. Right, and then finally, last minute, I think that's what they do too. They try to fuck with you. So like, for months, you're preparing to leave for months. So like, filming takes several months. Like I was, I was filming for four months when I was on Ink Master. Right. So I had to make sure like someone lived at my house, took care of my animals, my bills.
Marshalls or oh, yeah. paid, like all that shit that you don't think about. You know, right. you're like, oh, I'm just going to go do a TV show. Right. No, that's not how it goes because you're gone for months. You were in New Jersey for months. For right? months. Yeah. I was in fucking. And what, you're not allowed to like leave? Shithole New Jersey, though. I was Newark. in like Newark. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that place, right. bro. Yeah. Shithole. Like, yeah. Ugh, dude, it's, like needles on the fucking streets and shit. Like, right. It was gr- cold, bro. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm, I'm, I was the South Florida guy, so they put me in fucking tank tops all the time. And it's fucking snowing outside. And like, tank exaggerated tops, I'm that. From Florida, right? It's like, bitch, what? I'm surprised they, Wait, they made you wear the tank tops. They dress you every day, dude. You don't. Yeah. You think those people choose the clothes that they fucking wear? That's, yeah, dude was wearing no, like overalls the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Chris <laughs> wore overalls the whole season. He's never worn overalls right. before. <laughs> they were cool back then. He was like, oh, you're from Florida. You're, you're a thick boy I'll put you in overalls <laughs> like no so, dude he's not fucking he doesn't wear overalls I don't wear tank tops right like dude they're like oh veteran overalls yeah <laughs> fuck that alright give bro. him a gun and uh, a cobra yeah. and a croc croc it out yeah <laughs> give him a big ass knife yeah it's a, it's a lot dude so. yeah was it what you expected when you showed up no nothing cause yeah. they take everything like the first thing that they do is they take you like literally you you get on a plane to go to New York or New York. That's right. how they fuck you too. They, <laughs> they say New York really fast and they kind of like slur it a little bit. So you're like, yeah. oh, cool, New York. And then you're like, oh, no, it's New York. <laughs> and you're like, you fucking tricked me. Right. So yeah, we get ah, to Jersey. Why? And I'm like, yeah. why the fuck am I in New Jersey? Right. I didn't even realize until I got to the airport and saw it said New York. Yeah. New York. Yeah, you gotta and, be careful. Uh, Dude, as soon as you get off the plane, you know, you meet up with one of the one of the fucking director people's person and they fucking literally give me your fucking your wallet, your phone right off the rip. They take wow. your shit. Yeah. Your ID, your credit card, your debit card, your cash. Your what the fuck is going on? He gets it. Cam's Fire. another fucking but as if one more fucking alarm goes off <laughs> that, today. That wasn't me. <laughs> Were you like skeptical though? Like about giving them your shit? Yeah, but you have to. Right. Yeah. You know, you have to. And then they put you in this fucking, they bring you to the double tree and they put you in this room and they lock you in it. What? You cannot leave your fucking room because you're not allowed to go. Are you alone or are you with the others? No, you're by yourself. You don't wow. know who you're with. You don't know who you're about to do the show because they don't want you to know. Yeah. It's all, it's all like they want to get your reaction. Yeah, what the and, fuck do they call it? Uh, God. Oh, there's a word that they would say every day that would just your vein of your existence. I don't remember, but it's just like they want live action. They want your, they want your right. genuine, like reactions. real drama. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, but there's a word. I'm yeah. Just Whatever. You right. blacked it out, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they take all your shit. They put you in separate rooms and you're not allowed to leave your rooms because they don't want you to know who else you're going to be on the show with. They want to get it all on camera. So like the first scene is like you all walk out and then you're like, oh, I know you. Yeah. I know you. You right. know what I mean? Like, are you guys getting this organic reaction? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all like that, bro. Like they yeah. don't fucking, they trick you all the time. They don't fucking, bro, you want lunch or breakfast, bro? Like they... Dude, it'll be like wrong or cold or like fucking dude. They're the they're worst, bro. They wake you up at three o'clock in the morning. First off, everybody sleeps in the same fucking room, like every big ass room. Everybody's got these little it's tiny like jail beds. <laughs> yeah, you get this little dresser, little jail bed. Everybody like gets every time somebody gets voted off. Obviously, there's a free bed. So what we were doing was we were taking the beds and putting them together. So by the Ooh. time I got kicked off, I had like. Eight beds. <laughs> I was fucking sick, dude. I had the biggest, dude. My, dude, my bed was like probably the size of this whole fucking. Thing, Fuck, yeah, I had like eight of the motherfuckers. Anyways, but yeah, they they, they, they piss you off all day. If there's yeah. one shower, you know, twenty people, one Ooh. shower, bro. Wow. Yeah, they wake you up at fucking three, four o'clock in the morning. You don't film until like ten. Why do they wake you up so early? Because you got to do like wardrobe. Prep? You got to uh, do hair and makeup. Yeah. Like you gotta fucking take you gotta take a shower. Yeah. yeah. Twenty people have to shower, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that takes think, three hours. <laughs> think hot water lasts for twenty people, not yeah. even three people, bro. By the time you take a shower, it's freezing cold, bro. It's fucking Newark, New Jersey, bro. Yeah. Like fucking dude, it's terrible, bro. They gotta learn. Bro. I'll never do that shit again. And they pay you fucking five hundred dollars a week, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Gian still, Gian just did Ink Master again. Gian 
who God has won in second place twice now. Still, he wants that five hundred dollars a fucking week. Fuck yeah. you, dude. No way. That's a big hit too. Answer my emails for five hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, and then you're not getting paid because you're not tattooing. So right. it's not only are you getting only five hundred, but you're missing oh, so out on you're whatever your, your day rate is yeah. every day. Yeah, you're working your ass off filming for these people. Yeah. You're yeah. working your ass off filming for these fucking people that yes, down the road, it is great publicity for the artists. If yeah. you're not in the, you know, I, I did it back in the day cause it was huge. And yeah. I was like, it was popping you yeah. know? and it helps my career for sure. One hundred percent. I'm right. not saying that ink master didn't do me good. It did. Yeah. Cause I did well, right. But it would also ruin your fucking career. I got friends that were on the show that you're rolling the dice. Yeah. I got friends yeah. that were on the show that aren't very good tattooers, bro. And they fucking still, they're yeah. fucking cutting deals all the time. All the time still yeah like, it'll hurt your career too right but i yeah so i guess it could go either way um because i think there was like a a period where like i was thinking about doing it and i just didn't want to take that gamble yeah you know someone like like i had to do every style yeah you know and that's the only reason why chris did really well is because he does every fucking style yeah really, that's why dj wins every time is because right. dj can tattoo literally any style and it's the fucking sexiest thing you've ever seen bro. yeah like anything that guy touches is gold bro. it's funny how that works too because i feel like a lot of tattooers at least around here and, and i think kind of everywhere like they kind of get more and more focused each time and they create a direction and a style right. like even if it's like cool this guy does black and gray realism portraits whatever and then you become known for that and it's easier yeah, to build clientele Right, right, exactly. You just get more and more specific. Right. Where on the show, it's the complete opposite. Everything because you weird because that's not how tattooing is this days. These days, right? When Ink Master started ten fucking years ago, that's how the industry was. That's how I had it be. That's how you, you know to be even take fucking everything. Cam, bro. He does black and gray shit. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to just do black and yeah, gray. It's shit. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Like my my apprentice, she only does black and gray realism too. Yeah, she doesn't have to do lettering and color and all that shit, right. bro. If I said no to something that was out of my style range or out of my comfort zone when I was fucking learning how to tattoo or coming up as a tattooer, I got fired, bro. Yeah, or hit. Yeah, or smash hit, yeah. dude. Why'd you let that fucking... Yeah, you're losing money. walk out of the shop? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you're fucking losing me money. It's like, oh, but I didn't want to do a color portrait. Fuck you, do the color portrait, take yeah. the money. Like, yeah. that's how I was, you know, brought up. Yeah. But nowadays... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is this better? <laughs> it's good. It's because he hit the mic. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. No. Sorry. I know. I talk really aggressive. I talk really aggressively. And I use my hands. <laughs> Fuck that TV show. All right. Is this but then, better? like, coming off of the show, were you like, cool, I'm happy I did that? Um, yeah. For Did sure. you re start to receive benefits like right away? Well, you didn't have your phone, um, so you probably didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Right? Well, it's all, I mean, we probably filmed for the show and then it was another maybe eight months before it was even on, on TV. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's just how it is. Yeah. You know, like even with sense. the whole, like I, I've been filming with Netflix for five years now. Yeah. And that still isn't even on TV. Gotcha. I've been filming for five years. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Actually, it's not even going to be on Netflix. I, I've talked to the producer yesterday. He's actually the producer of Tiger King, Eric Good. Fuck yeah. Yeah. He's making another crazy documentary. Tyler King. <laughs> no, I'm just in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not like a star of it, but I'm just one of the crazy people in That's it. That's cool, though. It'll be on HBO next year. So right. we'll have to check that out. That's going to be sick. Is there a name for it? Um, or there is one I'm allowed to say. Okay. Yeah. I'm what actually I, probably not about it. Actually, <laughs> yeah, what I said is fine. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about it too much, but All right. it'll be sick. Cam, yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So when it finally did air, the Ink Master, did you, were you like, this is cool, people are seeing this, I'm yeah. happy I did it? Yeah, it was dope. Yeah. Everybody, dude, all my friends fucking thought it was the coolest thing yeah. ever. I thought it was cool. Yeah, well, I don't even think, awesome. maybe I had met you once, but I was with like Dizzy and all the guys, and I think we were like watching the episodes, and they're like, yo, my friend Tyler is on this. I think we're at Alex's house. 
And like we were watching the episodes and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's cool that like a local person that you guys know is is on TV is doing this. Because I think in the beginning with Ink Master, like tattooing wasn't as like in your face. Mm-hmm. And now it's like a show and it's kind of building awareness. Even though maybe sometimes it's like misinforming, like it's it still got people to like talk about it. Yeah, it normalized it a lot. Yeah. 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 It's definitely I've, cool. If it wasn't for Ink Master, I feel like Ink Master definitely has a lot to do with how popular tattooing is. I think so too. Sure. Even though, you know, sometimes there could be negative stuff about it as well. Yeah, that's everything though. Yeah. I remember, and I don't even know if I told you this story, when we were considering opening this shop together, opening Borrowed Time, I think originally you were talking to like uh, some of the other people involved, like your old roommate, the other partner, whatever. And there was the night where we grabbed dinner in Meisner. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So everyone was supposed to go to this dinner. I don't know if I told you this either. And then for whatever reason, like, they canceled. Yeah, it was like Dustin. Yeah. And Nate or whoever. Yeah. Who was the other? Who was, like, her other business partner? Shane. Shane. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think everyone was supposed to go. And they didn't really care, but like I was a tattooer. I knew you were a really good tattooer and like I was a nobody shitty tattooer. Right. And like I had to meet Tyler to essentially like be like, yo, we should open a shop together. Pitch it. Right. To, to pitch it essentially. And then all the partners in the backup and like they canceled and they're like, yo, John, you got to go meet Tyler. And like, figure it out. And I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know? right? so I don't, yeah. So I was like, dude, I was like super, super nervous. I was like, fuck. Like, cause I really wanted it to happen, you know? And like, I get there and like, dude, you, you pull up in like the sick Beamer. You got this like hot chick with you and like, whatever. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Sounds and I remember, all right. Yeah. <laughs> good old days. Yeah. I probably like walk there. No, but I'm um, a <laughs> baby. Yeah. So I like I get know. to the dinner and I remember like we sat down and I was just like, I don't even know like what I'm going to talk about with this dude. Like he's so much farther. Like you were so much farther in your career at the time. And I was like, whatever, he goes, nothing. I don't really remember the first like couple minutes of the conversation. And then I just remember like, we're talking as if we're boys. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, this dude's cool as fuck. Yeah. You know? And well, I didn't know what I expected. I don't bite. What's that? I don't bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But have you ever like kind of had that experience? You meet someone oh, yeah. that's farther along and you like don't know what Bro, to expect. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's not cool. Sometimes yeah. like, damn, you're a dick. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I meet up with YouTubers. So I try to do like YouTube collaborations. Yeah. And like, People don't understand how much YouTubers make money. Like a lot of people, like, especially like being in the tattoo industry for so long and then transitioning into the YouTube community. Like a lot of tattooers were like, oh, look, he's fucking doing YouTube videos now. Like, that's stupid. How silly is that? Right. That's so silly. You're making YouTube videos. Oh, that's cute. Right. Like even girls like that I was like talking to like online and shit, you know, like fucking on Tinder and shit. They're like, yeah, what do you do? I'm like, fucking, oh, I'm a YouTuber tattoo artist. They're like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. YouTube videos. It's like, I think it still does kind of have that like yeah, stigma. They like think it's like view. a cute, funny thing. Right. Like, what do you, it's that's like, cool. What do you do, you do for work? Do you know though? how much fucking money we make? Yeah. Because, dude, I hang out with some fucking YouTubers that, like, bro, they are, they make fucking, bro, a hundred racks a month, bro, yeah. on YouTube right. just fucking around, bro. Yeah. Just being stupid, just being themselves. I got, I got a buddy that fucking literally all he does is fucking play with his cats and fucking feed his fucking tortoises and shit. And he's making yeah. a hundred racks a month. Bro. I might be guilty of that too. Like if we sat down at a dinner and you're like, yo, he's a lawyer and he's a YouTuber. I'd probably off rip respect the lawyer first. Right. And he's but been the YouTuber probably makes more month. money. Yeah. yeah. The YouTuber probably makes that yeah, salary a month. Money. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, my dad, time. even my dad, like when he came to see the house, like, yeah. He's like, Whoa. And the YouTubers probably he's more like, how much did you pay for this? And I'm like, oh, this is this. And he was like, wow, how the fuck did you afford that? I'm like, right. uh, you know those YouTube. cute videos I made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking YouTube, dude. Yeah. I mean, I Remember tattooed my ass Remember when I dropped out of high school? Yeah, I tattooed made cute my ass videos. Off too. But tattooing, yeah. I actually have to show up and work, you know? I mean, granted, YouTube, you, there is still definitely a lot of work, too, but it's just more like just doing my thing and then having somebody film it. Yeah. And we put it out, and people fucking like to watch it, so. It is kind of wild. Like, hey, everyone, you can be 
a director, producer, and make your own videos and movies, yeah. go ahead. Whatever happens, and get happens. paid way more than TV will fucking yeah. pay you. Yeah, because all these people that go on all these shows and shit and do TV shows and stuff, they don't really make a lot of money, bro. Yeah, it's the producers and people that are in the production that make the money with the right shows. and keeping the margins down and stuff. Yeah, dude, I even remember like we would make some videos for our time. We did that commercial and all that stuff, and I was so uncomfortable on camera. Yeah. I fucking hated it. And I remember you were comfortable and you had experience with the show. And I was like, this is perfect. You can do all that stuff, yeah. you know? And, uh, I look at you, dude. And I like Killing the content it. creation now, Killing it. but it was like weird at first. Yeah, I was no, like, was I don't, weird. I don't know what I thought. I thought like maybe yeah. I had to like act different or like be a character, like not authentic or whatever it was. And I was like, can I just be like, me like dry and make fun of cam and they're like yeah and i'm like cool i'll do that it sounds like a blast yeah but the animal shit's cool yeah the animal shit's cool because you've done something because i'll like keep my shit about like tattooing you've branched into like a whole nother yeah. area of content i just creation. like animals a lot more than people yeah <laughs> well, the like more that i do people stuff and tattooing the more yeah. i'm like wow i cannot wait to i'm 34 bro i want to be tattooing for fun by 40 like yeah. Literally, I just want to only be tattooing, like, things that I'm really into. Like, yeah. Like, once or twice a week, maybe, you know. Well, there's not, like, really a retirement plan for there's tattooers. Not. Yeah, there's not, bro. I'm just trying to fucking... YouTube is my retirement, man, hopefully. Yeah. Just be, uh, just make videos, and I'm going to start breeding anim more animals, and they're going to rescue, and just doing my whole little farm life thing. I'll be tight. Yeah, I mean, the only kind of retirement plan for a tattooer is like open a shop and hope, God. you know, it makes money when your body breaks, right? Yeah, and that's fucking, even tattoo shops, is like, you got to have 15 tattooers in order to make even decent money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there's always that trade-off. And like, I'll talk about it all the time because like we're opening another shop and it's like, do I do like the percentage shit? Do I do the booth rent? Do I do the like collective where everyone just shares the bills? And I feel like there's benefits to all, and then, you know. Yeah, there is. But it's like, wh what do you want to do? Yeah. Cause Percentages and shit, then now you have employees, and you got to deal with egos. You got to deal with people getting yeah. along with each other. You got to deal with people showing up to work on time. Yeah. Taking care of their clients. It's yeah. an actual job. Because you know, you've my, done you've done it all, right? Yeah. Because at the shop, lab, you guys just yeah, it was, it was like a, collect a collective, yeah. where we just split the bills evenly between. It was How do like you like four that? Four or five of us. That was cool. Yeah. It was whatever. I liked it. I feel like in cool. those environments, you kind of have more of a chance to work with like better tattooers. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. Because there's more because, incentive for them. Right. Yeah, and I mean, if you're a really good tattooer, that's like sought after. I could be tattooing in a fucking porter potty. Yeah. You know, and people are like, yeah, I'll, right. I'll wait in line. You right. Know? It's <laughs> occupied right now. Yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, though. Like, I could tattoo anywhere. It's that, but that's how it is with other really good, like Randy, Ulysses, my brother. Yeah. Like everybody that works for me, bro, they could tattoo wherever the fuck they want and still be just as busy. And, you know, they don't need right. me, you know? So. That's what's cool about having booth rent is just because you'll get like a higher level tattooer. And would you say it's like more low maintenance? Because you don't really have to like run to deal with payroll shit, bro. And, yeah. I don't have to deal with these, these people getting along and them getting, you know what I mean? I don't have to worry about coming to work or being late or showing right. up or any of that stuff. As long as your rent is paid. Just a simple dude, agreement. Yeah, I don't care if you yeah. fucking come to work. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you don't have to come here. Yeah. As long as your rent is paid. Yeah. You want to take the whole month off? Yeah. Well, yeah, and you don't See, have to worry January. about people, like, traveling all the time and, like, whatever. Yeah, I don't, right. I don't care about shit. Like, do whatever the fuck they want. Even my assistant, she fucking goes on more vacations than anybody I've ever met. She's on probably, she is, she's on vacation right now. She just got, she just got back last week. I'm she's jealous. Been home, she's been home for four days and she's off again. Yeah. What does she do? How does she even help you if she's on vacation <laughs> all the time? She just doesn't. Like, she helps me remotely? a lot when she's in town. Nice. And then it's when she's it. out of town, I'm just, yeah. I just text all my clients. I'm like, hey, sorry, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I need my <laughs> sister to help me. I out. guess my, th my thing is like with the percentage thing though, like it's like if it's almost like we're on the same team, like if you win, I win kind of thing. Mm -hmm. For now, and this might change, like I really like to be involved in the shop. Like I'm going to do this for you, this for you. Like 
and it's a lot of fucking work and maybe that'll change in like a couple years. Yeah, and I did that for a while. No. Yeah. Like, uh, right. So there's like the trade off with like all of them. Like but then say, I remember being here, bro. Yeah. You know how it was. Yeah. We were like the, we were like the mediators. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was me. It was good cop, bad cop all the time. Yeah. You know? And then it sucks when, and this happens like no fault to anyone, but like you'll put all this work in on an artist and they just leave. And you're like, fuck. It feels yeah, like exactly. you know, a waste of or time. Or teach somebody how to tattoo. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for years. Right. Right. And then they're like, I'm going to go somewhere else. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Right. Thanks. What do you uh, it's the industry. Yeah. It's super fun. I just told Cam if he leaves, I'm going to kill him. That's why I like animals. <laughs> yeah. Like animals None of that bullshit. Sick. They don't talk. Right. <laughs> Don't talk back. Don't take vacations. Don't take vacations. Right. They don't use all your paper towels. Something. You know, oh, maybe they, they do, actually. Of, cleaning up a lot of pee and poop. They eat all your supplies. Uh, they do fuck some things up. But no egos. Yeah. No drama. Right. Feelings. And they don't ask this talk person all the time. doesn't look at me when they come to work. And <laughs> this person did this. And this person said this to my client. And yeah. It's just like, fuck. Well, not only this person like stole my tattoo client, he did it cheaper <laughs> in the same shop. Like right. competition in the same shop sucks, bro. Yeah, I'd rather get bit by a snake. Fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Easier. Yeah. Big snake bites all day. Well, dude, and I've had to like learn that too, like with all the problems, like like you were just saying, especially growing up in like a tattoo environment where like I could you know, like in my apprenticeship, I could have like strep throat and I'm like, I don't feel well. And like my mentor is like, fuck you, you know? And then like a, a little problem, like, uh, there's no more Nespresso pods in the back. And like, but, and, I, and, and having to be like, okay, this, this is a real problem for this person. And you have to like treat it like a real problem and talk. And I just want to hit them. You're an adult. Yeah. Go get some more fucking coffee pots. Right. Or like this person stole my tattoo client or like whatever. Yeah. It, it's like, they're allowed to like get tattooed by other people. I want to be like, get better at tattooing yeah. and then your clients won't leave for real. or just be okay with it. Yeah. But you can't, yeah, we share right. clients pretty seamlessly. You know, I will say the group, right. we have but it now doesn't is always awesome. act like but yeah, it's not, so do, yeah, yeah. For so how many so artists? So does my we, shop because yeah, right. we tattoo collectors. Right. And that's how it is. Right. But like at a walk in shop where you have five walk in artists that are fucking fighting for people, that's when it happens. Yeah. Yeah. What's like the stupidest thing you've come to me with? I've been you some pretty stupid shit. Give me some of them. <laughs> oh. My excuses. Yeah, just give me bad. one of them. Give me one example. Every day it's traffic. And you're just like, leave earlier. And that you really always is the... You have some weird excuse. Yeah, my family's late. a clusterfuck too. Yeah, late. Who's my late guy? Danny, what are some oh, of fucking... Oh, fucking Ben. Ben is, the, man, ben is my late guy. Yeah. <laughs> I love Ben to death. Yeah. But every time his clients come in, his clients will come in at like 1 p.m. every day. And they're like, hey, we're here for Ben. And we're like, yeah, we know. Because they're always the same people. They're always yeah. like long black hair, like really right. skinny, super white. <laughs> right. Like, they want they the have creepy like shit. fucking 20 bracelets on and shit. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we're here for Ben. We're like, yeah, we know. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're like, did you talk to him yet today? And yeah. they're like, oh, no. And like, does he know you're going to be here? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, we think so. I'm yeah. like, cool. He'll probably be here in like an hour. Yeah. You know, like just. Sit on the couch. You just have those people that are, I mean, I can't say anything to them. I mean, I do. Right. Like, bro, like your client, we call them like your client yeah. fucking sitting here, but it's like, can't get in trouble. Yeah. He's fucking on booth rent. The only yeah. person he's making look bad is himself, you know? Right. And half of his clients don't fucking care anyways. They don't even shower, let alone. <laughs> That's right. Be on time places. You got it. <laughs> Danny, what are some dumb excuses? I can't think of any right now. I block them out. I don't have room for that storage in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Bust out the list. Right. Tire. My car's out. falling apart. <laughs> Battery's dead. He tells me he's here till three in the morning. I hand over to Logan, who actually works at the <laughs> bar next door. <laughs> till four. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, Logan's full time apprenticeship, full time job somewhere else. He's always here. Half-time Every day. Like, I don't even bother, like, I don't even bother asking Cam why he's late. He just, like, mumbles something or whatever. And then, like, Dan gives great excuses, too. Dan's like, he just didn't show up one day, Dan Cerna. Oh, I know. And, uh, <laughs> I know who you're talking about. And then I'm like, I, ca- I call him on FaceTime. And I'm like, where are you? And he's like, oh, uh, you could see him thinking of the excuse, like, <laughs> ma- like making up the lie. And he's like this, I'm sick. <laughs> like and I could it see in the background that he's on a balcony and there's a beach. Like he's in Miami. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I can literally see that you're in Miami, like in a hotel somewhere and you look great. And he's like, I'm like, so you're sick. He's like mentally. (laughs) I'm like, what? dude? (laughs) Yeah, dude. There was like a lot of people around. He's like, yeah, I'm mentally sick. I'm like, bro, you could have just like asked for the day off or whatever. Like I had to fucking call you and like, you're obviously high as fuck. Fuck right now, trying like to smoke all around. Yeah, you think you're doing great with this excuse, but you're not. Jay, I was trying to pass like, him the joint back. Yeah, and you like deal with this shit. And Getting you're all the smoke <laughs> right. I don't feel good. <laughs> that was another one. His yeah, three year old uh-huh. kid Dude, locked him in the This was last closet. week. This was last week. Mm-hmm. He comes in. Six, seven. Yeah. He he's like, yo, I go in my closet. So he can't. I think. He's Dude, Dan has an assault rifle on him every time I see him. How do you not break out of a closet? I'm like, yeah, yo, you're I feel s- like every time I see Dan, he's like, hey, check out this new AR I just yeah. got. Like every time right. I see him. Bro, he had a flashbang at the shop. Bro, I had a grenade. Dad, and I was like, you're did. not allowed to have that here. <laughs> I bet, bro. He pulled a fucking rocket launcher out of his yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, what the hell is this? Yeah. He's like, I was like, dude, you have a big beard. You look like a Muslim guy. You can't have stuff like this. He's right. like, don't talk You need to be careful. He's like, we have military right. grade How plates. Are those I just random got? checks yeah. at the airport. You are on wanted posters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Or whatever. You just like deal with it. I, like, yeah. I don't, but it's everywhere. Like, the excuse is that. And maybe that's why some people get into the career is kind of that like laid back attitude. I'm kind of trying to like change that, you know, at least here at the shop, like, yo, be on time, you know, all these things like approach your client this way, do this. Like, I, th- I feel like they really matter. You know, like if I'm showing up on time, I'm prepared with the design. I greet my client. I ask if they want water. I give them a run through of like what to expect for the day. Because forever this career was looked at as this like taboo, not real job, yeah, no. negative. Like to, and People I feel like those little things. traveling from across the fucking world to get tattooed yeah. by us and are paying two grand a day to get tattooed. Yeah. On top yeah. of traveling, you expenses. have to perform a certain way. You know yeah. what I mean? I can't be showing up to work looking like an asshole or hungover yeah. or anything like that and then expect to get paid $2,000 to draw on someone's skin. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, dude, I buy fucking I had I buy people I buy all my clients lunch and shit like dude every like I'm smoke them out like yeah. I take care of them right I, and do it's an I'm, experience yeah, and I show up extra early every day to make sure that like when my client walks through the door bro I got everything ready to rock bro they fucking got a design to look at they're just ready yeah because that's what I'm, I charge a certain amount and so I have to put out right a certain way. How do you deal with like goodbyes like at the end? Goodbyes? Yeah. Give nice firm hugs. Dude, I'm I feel like I'm awkward with the goodbye. Cause I've given it. Because you feel all like a prostitute into, sometimes yeah. after you just charge them a million dollars. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> or Thank like you. Or I'm just like brain dead. Like Should there was so much now? thinking going into the tattoo. Yeah. And like titty bar? we were making jokes and talking shit. Like I used everything I had. And then we're like done. And then they ring up. And then, like, I know they're about to, like, fly home to their state. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how to, like, finish the experience. So I'm, like, just kind of sitting here. I'm, like, editing photos or, like, no, sending it. Yeah, yeah. My favorite thing is you're tired when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Yeah. Because I want to, like, because I feel like I did well during the day. Like, tons of jokes. We're laughing. We're eating food. The tattoo they like whatever and then it's just like turned off yeah, I get mentally exhausted. my work here's done yeah and i'm like <laughs> well, I <feel> bye <laughs> yeah sometimes my clients will be like kind of hinting the whole because t- i have all the animals and shit 
So they always like be like, oh, too bad I, too bad I can't just like come see your animals or something. It's like, oh, too bad it's so late. I really was hoping to like go pet an alligator. Or right. <laughs> Like it's part oh of their tattoo yeah, experience. Too bad you can't. I gotta go. Bye. Hey, see you. <laughs> Thanks for your money. Speaking of that, I gotta go see them. Money, money, go. Yeah. But now I kind of have a really cool excuse. So like, I just like because you live far, it, and my girl is super pregnant, uh, and yeah. I'm about to have a kid. So now I'm just like, I got all these new excuses that I can use. Yeah. I'm like, Take oh, notes, baby, you gotta, got a baby. See ya. Bye. Yeah. Oh, I can't tattoo you for this long today. I got a baby. That's like a get out of ever. Oh, I'm gonna cancel you right. today. Reschedule you. Baby. I got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Having a baby. They're yeah. like, oh, cool. Like, dude, yeah, I just had to cancel this, this week, bro. Um, this kid booked his appointment fucking on the, what, Thursday, Friday of this week. I was supposed to, my daughter is born on Saturday. Yeah. Scheduled C-section. So I, I was tattooing up until the very day, but I yeah. didn't realize how fucking hectic everything is going to get. So I canceled my Thursday, Friday, which was one client flying in from like fucking Croatia or some oh, shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, who's waited a year to get tattooed? Oh, man, not happy. Yeah, I was like, "Sorry, bro, I'm having a kid." And he was like, "Oh, he's like, I guess if there was an excuse to have this was the one, he's like, that's the one." And for just for granted, or just to add it in there, I contacted him in April. Right, I've been trying to tell him to reschedule since April. Yeah, that's an he hasn't hit me up thing, until now. bro. That we didn't even touch is like. Being booked out so far, like your whole fucking life is yeah. planned. Yeah, people don't understand. Bro, I'll that. never, like, let me think before I say this. I'm pretty sure, like, I never cancel appointments. Yeah. And, like, it'll even, like, cause arguments with, like, family and stuff. Oh, and yeah. it's just like, sure. it's like, you don't understand. Don't like, this it. person's waited a year. Right. And, like, you and said, then they fly, fly in on top of it. It's a vacation. Yeah. Plan. They have fucking I hotels booked. They have someone, flights dude. booked. They right. have other shit booked. Like, right. you're ruining someone that is literally spending thousands of dollars yeah, to get something yeah, from bro. you and like they can get it from anyone else and be like i'm sick mentally yeah you no, know yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no. i'm mentally sick too yeah. motherfucker i'm still here tattooing yeah dude and like and like i'll even like i don't know how you do it i've heard a lot of strategies by tattooers but i'll like leave little sections throughout the year like maybe a week or a weekend and i'll be like maybe i'll plan a vacation then or whatever you know because i gotta like go on you know want to go on vacation like with my girl or like see my family up in Jersey sometimes or, like always do a week in December you know around Christmas mm -hmm. certain holidays but it, you know a lot of my friends are like yo we're gonna go do this next month they're like you can't be spontaneous nope they don't even ask me anymore they yeah, just no, know I'll yeah, say no yeah exactly yeah I still have some friends that are really persistent and they invite me to things even though I say no every single time yeah but yeah, it sucks. They're like, oh, let's do this. And I'm like, no, I can't. Yeah. I have like things booked. Yeah. Like, things or even I have like, to yo, do. when do you want to grab dinner? <laughs> and I'm like, what about like three weeks from now? And they're like, you suck. Yeah. They're like, I meant like today. And I'm like, yeah. that's wild. You're ridiculous. How much what do you think the whole universe revolves around yeah. you? Yeah. Fuck, bro. I wish I had yeah. time like that, bro. Cam, what do you have to say to our wonderful guest? Tyler, thank you for. Whoa, wait, let's. Tyler, we appreciate you coming on today. Yeah, it was a that. pleasure to have you here. That was horrible. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, that was like yeah, weird. We'll sorry, right. putting up with Cam. That yeah, was weird. I'm dude. sorry you had to put up with me this whole Get time. Get it together, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> killing it. You guys are killing it over here. You too. I miss it. I miss the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. This was a fun. This was a good time for me. Hopefully, is it a more? different vibe at your shop. No, it's great. Yeah, it's the same kind of vibe. Yeah, it's just a friendly, fun, fucking environment. You know. Yeah, when I was there the other week, I was like, "This is cool." Yeah, it's cool. We should shoot. It's just we like should this. shoot some Everybody stuff. Everybody gets there. along. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking fun. Everybody's friends. Yeah. We need to find it's all good. the tattooers like that yeah. and let everyone know who's cool and who's not. We talked about that. Yeah. 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 People always think we're assholes. Yeah. They're like, ugh. Right. <laughs> Especially like, Cam. Assholes. They're so nice. Yeah, they're like Cam's transphobic. Yeah. That's what they've been saying. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, bro? Uh, be transphobic these days. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's Cam, with that, sign us off. Take us away. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Unemployable Podcast. Remember, charge more, player. <laughs>